identify the following identity. So we'll do common denominators. So we end up with cosine x minus one plus cosine x plus one. And then when these are multiplied together for the common denominator, we get cosine squared x minus one. All right, so combining like terms, the ones cancel off, we're left with two cosine of x. And um, cosine of x minus one, we can factor out a negative or a negative one, and we get uh, one minus cosine squared x. And this can be converted into sine squared x. Oh, well, minus, excuse me, this minus on the outside there. So minus um, sine of x, sine squared of x. So breaking this down further, two times cosine of x over one of the sine of x's, that should be negative two, times one over sine of x. This is a cotangent, this is a secant, and then there's our negative two. So that gives us our negative two, and I'll just rearrange it so it matches up there. Uh, the cosecant here, cosecant x, and then our right here, um, cotangent x. And that's it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching the video, and you have yourself a fantastic, fantastic